I know this quarantine time has been very hard on so many of us to be apart from our loved ones and truly just to be distanced. I'm here with Dr. Erica Martin with Doctor's Orders and here we are, great friends, and we're still six feet apart, can't even get closer together. It really puts people down in the dumps, doesn't it? Absolutely, so we know um, that, that we as humans, we need other human interactions. So the populations that seem to live the longest, especially some of the like European countries, um, they have very close social ties. And so social interaction is so important. Um, so especially for our um, viewers who are living at home by themselves, mm -hmm. I can't imagine how difficult this is for them. You know, the elderly, yeah, but even younger Absolutely. adults that mm -hmm. are quarantining themselves. So I know yep. I have a college student at home that mm -hmm. is on, she really would like to be out with with her friends and can't and it's it throws in that depression angle absolutely and so um, I think it's really important to, to talk about um, you know depression and mental health in particular it's something that I think a lot of people feel very kind of squeamish and talking about but I'll tell you as a primary care provider I deal with depression and anxiety probably 50% of my day um, so we all put on a very happy face but a lot of us especially right now we are struggling for men especially it seems like they get a little bit more irritable um, they might start overeating a little bit more um, they might start self-medicating with alcohol um, so that's again these are very general general sure. uh, statements and then for women um, it's honestly it's kind of the same thing but in general like poor sleep irritability um, feeling very sad and hopeless um, and obviously some people um, will start having passive thoughts of hurting themselves or hurting other people or might even develop you know a very specific plan of hurting themselves okay. and that is very concerning and absolutely you need to talk to your doctor about what you're experiencing or anyone close to you how do we help people like that? So um, I think the most important thing is remembering that you're not alone. Um, and so if you have friends or family around, giving them a call, um, that's what they're there for. Mm -hmm. um, but I know that there are people that don't have good social networks, unfortunately. And so, um, you know, if you have a primary care provider, reaching out to them, um, you know, seeing if you can get a visit scheduled with them. Um, also, most insurance companies now are um, paying for, at least in part, for counseling or therapy. I think everyone can benefit from therapy, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, and so the way that you get set up with that sort of um, service is you go to your insurance company's website and see what benefits are covered for you. And absolutely, there are some good resources in the community that are lower cost Wonderful. as well. Thank you so much, Dr. Martin. And reach out to someone that you know that might be feeling a little bit depressed or a little anxious and just tell them you're thinking about them. Those are your doctor's orders.